the kingdom of God here today. Amen. We are welcoming our speaker fam. God bless you. We love you. Our worldwide uh, podcasting, ministering, radio. Come on now. And I want you to know that the word of God is being distributed all the way into Nigeria as well. You know, I took some pictures and I'm trying to see if we can get a good load here. We took some pictures of the statistics of that were literally going around. I'm, I'm using uh, my phone here today, uh, but it great. It has wonderful reviews. There was downloads, uh, people going in and downloading through our social media platforms. And you know, me myself, I feel like going into Mexico. It showed going into Nigeria. We love you, family. Our WhatsApp family, our Crossing Borders group through our messenger as well. And as as well as on our WhatsApp group. Amen. I need to put that. We're working on a little something that we can have coming into the new year. And really that excites me. And so I really have to be careful. And knowing that when I get into this word of God, that 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 it is all about God. And then I'm dissecting the word of God because this word is being distributed through all of our social media platforms as well as into our social media uh, uh, avenues of different ways of different groups, even outside of our name groups. You know, we have our groups, our uh, crossing our Cruzano Frontera group, amen, that we have uh, Pastor Thomas preaching on there as well. And given the Bible studies, uh, basically on a daily basis, and we just want to thank and honor Pastor. But you know, just getting into all of our other avenues of of uh, Daniel the prophets. Um, there's just so many other groups that I share it of, and those that we have had connection all throughout the years. Nisha, there, the Anointed One, Amen that has great many people on their platforms that we're able to share this with and through. And I'm saying this because there's so many things that are being uh, said, come on now, that are being spread, you know, and that's the reason why, you know, when the apostles had went in, they kind of went in and went out and was just like, you know what, you got to be careful what these little hears are hearing, what your eyes are seeing, and really this word of God that you're surrounding, engulfing yourself in, that it's captivating your mind, that it's not allowing you to be free. And I'm here to tell you who the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. And this is what the word of God does. As we dissect into the word of God, that we're able to see and know without a doubt that God has blessed you, that God has favored you, and God is here to lift you up out of that miry clay. But out of the, the miry clay, you know, there's already enough problems in the world, okay? There's already enough situations in the world. There's already enough hunger in the world. There's already enough um, different things that are happening in the world. And God is saying, I am the love. I am the hope. I am the one that, that, you know, I'm there for the people. He came to die for us. Come on now. That we're even all up in our sin. So how much even now? And, you know, if we were in our sin then, you know, unconsciously, and now that we know that we are sinners, but we're saved by grace, how much more will the grace of God cover us now? But I'm telling you, the law is there to give you a law conscious about you're just a sinner, you're no good, you're dead as a dog, and it's all about death, 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 death. When God says that he has came in to bring forth the life through the life of Christ, 
Let me share this word with you. I'm all Bible. And I know that you can take the Bible, you can dice it up, and you can paint it and make it look real pretty. But we have to see this is the word of God that God is speaking and in our lives. And you know what? If we sin, Lord, cleanse me. Lord, wash me. If, if I'm a sinner in all this and, and I'm wrong, make me right. Purify me. Clean my mind. Clean my heart. Clean my soul. You know, put me in the right standing of where you are at so that I can see it. So that I can know that I can be prepared for the great coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, he shows ourselves time and time again. Yes, the sin in our life, but also the sin that is there that he has given us his glory. He has given us his mercy and he has given us his grace. Now, the only thing that I can tell you here, church, is that if we are being abusive, okay, with his mercy and with his grace and with his righteousness, what are we doing? We're making fun of, we're bringing shame to the gospel. See, God doesn't uh, shame us, but we shame the gospel because... We're playing around in sin and we're allowing that sin then to contaminate us to where we feel we can't breathe. And see, this is where we have to know that we can't save ourselves. That's why he sent his son, Jesus, to save us, to deliver us, to set the captives free, to make the lame to walk and the blind to see, let our ears to hear what God is saying and what God is speaking unto the life of his children. And this may be a two-part, and I'm just sharing with you here because with my studies of yesterday's and then today's studies of him highlighting and really showing us, we really have to engulf with this word of God. And you know it may even broke. You know be broken down even to three. I'm not sure. But we're really going to see. How the Lord leads us here today. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah with me. Hallelujah. And I'm going to start. From here. And then work our way down. Amen. There in Romans, now I'm going to go ahead and go to 6. Romans chapter 6. Let's just go ahead and go to 6, and then I'm going to dissect some other words. But there in chapter 6 out of Romans, it talks about being dead to sin and alive to Christ. See, there's two different portals there. And I know it looked like I said four, but it's two. Two, 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 okay? Because you can be dead in the sin, okay, and then alive in Christ. And that's where I'm sharing with you. Dead to sin and alive in Christ. And see, either we're going to be dead to sin or we're going to be alive in Christ. I don't know about you, church, but I would rather be alive in Christ. Come on now. Already being what? Dead to the old self, dead to the old sin. And when that dead man starts rising up again, you know what? You got to beat that dead man down. (laughs) Because I'm saying, when a person's dead, and I can take you to, you know, a ceremony, which many of us have gone through, family, friends, uh, uh, long distant loved ones, you know, when a person's dead there in the casket, it's not going to come up and pull on you or try to do anything to wake up and then, you know, no, the person's dead. And it's not out of disrespect that I'm saying these things, but that's how sin has to be in our lives. It has to be 
dead. What's dead is dead. Because once we come to be alive in Christ, we're working on another level. We're working on a whole nother scale. We are seeing the mandate of heaven where God is waking us up, but he washed us. Oh, he washed us. I'm telling you, he was at it. He was at it. He was at a scrubbing. He was washing us. How was he washing us? With his precious blood. See, if it wasn't for the blood, I'm telling you, can't leave out the blood. Because it was the blood that cleansed us and washed us and made and made us whole. So what shall we say then? Shall we just go on sinning so that grace may increase? Can grace increase? <laughs> well, where sin abound, grace abound so much more. So if they're sinning, you got that much more grace. But you know what? We don't want to mess up. We don't want to mess up in our mess and mess up our grace. I believe to a, a, a limit, there's there's a limit on things. It's just like, you know, I was sharing with my, my husband on Sunday. You know, we have this water bottle here. And, and, and when we pour out, you know, and, and we're pouring out and we're pouring out and people are literally drinking the water, drinking the water. Well, if this water doesn't get refurbished and I'm, if I'm not under the faucet or under where I'm getting that water and, and continually getting that water, you know, I'm, I'm, this cup is going to finish. It's going to come to an end. And the Lord doesn't want us to come to an end. He wants us always that our cup shall be overflowing. Just overflowing and coming into the new things of God. And increasing in God's word. Increasing in God's presence. Being dead to sin. See, especially in these times of the holidays. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. Oh, I want that. Oh, 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 oh. You know, and and you're playing the harp on on um on the hearts on people that want to give. You know, which is great if you have it, but if you don't have it, you just don't have it. You know, and hey, if the Lord wills that way, and if your belief is that way, then God can always make that happen for you. There's the petitioning. There's the praying. There's the asking. Will not the Lord provide? Will not the Lord take care of you? He's taking care of you all up until this point. He's taking care of, you know, your bills as he led you to do this and do that. He, he took care of you, you know. It, maybe you're going through a hard point. But you know what? You should do this. You should do that. There is being alive in Christ an increase with her God. See, by no means we are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? So if I'm dead to that sin, why am I living all up in that sin? I don't need to be living in that sin. That sin doesn't belong to me anymore. When that sin comes knocking on your door, you know what? Bye, Felicia. <laughs> you know what? I don't need that sin in my life. If you're around certain people that cause you to sin, you don't need it in your life. You see what I'm saying, church? See, we don't live in that sin no longer. When it's party night, party time, let's go drinking, let's go get drunk, let's go get high, let's go do this, let's go do that. No. Why? Because we don't live in that sin any longer. See, you don't know or that you don't know that all of us 
who were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. Were we not? Were we not baptized that when Jesus went under, that we also went under? See, that's the reason why when when we die, we die to all those things. Can I hear an amen? We were baptized. In other words, we were buried, okay, into our Lord Jesus' death. And we're therefore, we're buried with Him. I mean, that person's gone. Don't don't revive the dead. You know, don't go and put the, the shocks on the dead. Because that nerve might just go, whoop, you know. It may pop up. But it's not. Even my even my father let me know that. You know, when he was working with dead people for a while. You know, we went through some stuff. And I'm telling you, uh, he had said that, you know, they, they, they pull out all the, the blood. I know it's kind of gross. But I'm telling you, before, sometimes the bodies could just jerk and move, you know, because of the blood sometimes that it's running through their bodies. And certain things, you know, that, that trigger their, their nerves and different things. And you'd be like, what? <laughs> you know, the, 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 hey, wait, hey, wait, wait a minute, you know. But see, we were baptized into the Lord's death. Can you hear an amen? And we were therefore, we were buried. We were buried with him through the baptism into death in that order just as Christ was raised from the dead. Come on now. Because that he was raised from the dead, okay, through the glory of the Father. See, what raised Jesus' church was the glory. What raised Jesus was the presence of God. The Shekinah glory. It's the God kind of glory. See, no longer what, what took Jesus to his death, it wasn't even his sin. It was ours. It was ours. That's the reason why we had to be there because it was our sin. That's the reason why even now when you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you invite him into your heart, allow the Holy Spirit to come in and have his way inside of you. God is speaking the truth there that it was our sin, not only mine, yours as well, mine and your sin that buried our Savior and I'm telling you, él fue a los sepulcro. He went there to the grave. But I'm telling you, church, not even the grave can hold our Lord Jesus down. Why? Because we serve a risen Savior. We serve a God that is alive. We serve a God that is alive. We serve a God that is alive and that is well. And I'm praying for you today that may your soul be well today. May your soul be well today. Amen. I'm telling you, I want you to confess that here right now. May my soul be so very well in the house today. Can I hear an amen? See, if we were buried with him through the baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, through the glory of the Father, that we too may live a new life. And see, church, that's where it's at. We have to see that we're not living the old life of the chain and the ball. You see what I mean? How they say that's the it's my chain of the ball. <laughs> you know, 
We're living the life of freedom in Christ. Jesus, our Lord. It is He. He's alive and He is well. My God is not dead. My God is alive and He is well. And that's the reason why it can be well with my soul. Because as he rose again, come on now. And I'm telling you, the demons in hell were, woo! <laughs> What do we do? Because now we serve a risen Savior that is alive and well. There's no darkness, there's no nothing of evil. There wasn't the, the sin. Is what buried our Lord Jesus Christ. It was our sin that buried the Lord Jesus Christ. He had no sin. He had no sin. He was the Son of the living God. He was the Son of God. Born, not, he, he wasn't born out of sin. He was born of righteousness. You see what I'm saying? Because it wasn't. A man and a woman that created the Son of God. No, it was the womb of the woman through the Holy Spirit. See, that's what makes him different. That's what makes him to be alive. That's what makes him to be a risen Savior. Can I hear the church say amen? See, I'm telling you, I told you we're going to have to do maybe... A three-part series on this. Because I'm almost wrapping up here, church. Because I want everyone to understand where we're coming from. See, we were there for, we were buried with Him through the baptism into the death. In order that just as Christ was raised from the dead. Through the glory of the Father that we too may live This life, this new life, God wants to live a new life through me, and God wants to live a new life through you. See, we're not dead to sin no longer, church. We are alive in Christ. Does that give me the right to keep on sinning? No, it sure doesn't. It really doesn't. And especially once you know that you know, it's not right. God wants us to live holy. God wants us to live separate into giving Him all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise that we live alive in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm telling you, For if we have been united with him in a death like this, then certainly we will be united with him in a resurrection like this. For we know that our old self was crucified. Our old self have died with him so that the body that is ruled by the sin, it might be done away with. It's gone. It's no longer here that we should no longer be slaves to the sin. That's the reason why he's called us overcomers. And that's the reason why he has said that we are more than overcomers. It's all by his grace. And this is not... A greasy gospel. No, this is a righteous, conscious, not a sinful nature, but a righteous, conscious in being in and through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because I don't want to live a life of death when he says, no, I've come so that you can have life. Not the life of sin and death and the grave, but the life of joy. 
the life of peace, the life of love, the life of God's goodliness and kindness and of faithfulness unto the Lord. See, the word says, For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we shall no longer be the slaves to the sin. Because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. God bless you, brother. We love you. Give you a wave offering there. I'm telling you, we are not to be slaves to sin no longer, but slaves in to righteousness. I'm telling you, we are dissecting this word of God. I want you to come in on these live videos, amen, that we're doing. We're going to be doing the segments there through Instagram, through our channel Instagram, amen. We are live there on Tina Viesca. God bless you. Crossing Borders International. God bless you there in our YouTube. You know what? If you have not connected to our YouTube, do so today. You will be alerted. You will be alarmed as we come in through our sessions of righteousness. See, church, we can do so many things. Either we can do it in sin or we can do it in righteousness. And I'm telling you, church, we want to do things right coming into this new year. If you have any sin, ask God for forgiveness. The word says that he's faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sin. And I'm telling you, church, when you begin to have a righteous consciousness and not only is it only in here but it's right here and knowing you know what Jesus paid a price it was a high price not for me to keep on sinning no 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 not for me to keep on sinning but to me to live in the glory for me to live in his presence to me to live that for me to die is to gain are you with me, church? Are you with me, church? I pray that this word has impacted your life. I pray that as his word has gone out today, that it will channel in a new lightness of understanding of what God is saying. Be dead to sin. And once you are dead to that sin, you will become alive. Alive in Christ when we're dead to all of that sin. Your servant here today, God bless you, Crossing Borders International, Cruzando Fronteras, con una voz de alerta. You know what? Tina Viesca going in. Google us up. Amen. We have our Tina Viesca designs. We are also there through ministers and authors. Our ebooks are out there. And really, it's my journal. It's my journal and our walk through Facebook. Amen. And I pray it, it leads you. There's a lot of links um, that will lead you to many hours of teachings and preachings. Amen. We do have a physical book. Amen. That kind of shows a little bit. And that was my first book. It was a baby book. Come on now. Working on my next one. But I'm telling you, let God generate all these things through your life so you can see Him, you know, fine tooth comb bringing you out of the muck and the mockery that others always try to say, This is you, this is you, this is you, this is you, this is your haters, this is your backbiters, these are you that are fighting against you, these are you that are naysaying, you know, the nay nays and the hey hey's. And so, coming into the light, coming into the acknowledgement coming into God's word of righteousness for your life here today. God bless you, church. Thank you for soaring high with me 
here through our ministry. If you want to be a blessing, come on now. You can come and be a blessing through our Crash app. Amen. That is Prophetess Tina Vieska Cash app. Amen. If you want to be a blessing, if you want to be a blessing even to our third world countries, knowing that as you sow your seed, come on, we are sowing not into being more righteousness, but we're just sowing into righteousness because the Lord says to bless the widows, to bless the orphans. Come on now. I want to bless uh, Pakistan with Bibles this year. Going into the next year, I really want you to pray about that. I want you to really see if that is something that God has put into your heart to do there with Pastor Robin there in Pakistan. We've hit one area of Pakistan. We're hitting in another area of Pakistan as well as Nigeria. Amen. We love you, church. Continually to keep connected, knowing that, hey, we're praying for you. There's mighty things. God is shaking and he's doing some things and he wants us to be right and affirmative all in the things of God. We love you, church. Hey, we'll see you soon. Riding high, soaring high. Come on now. Woo! Thank you, Jesus, for the blood that has saved us, that has redeemed us. Come on now. And that has set us free in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, church. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. God bless you, church. We love you. De Dios se manifiesta hoy. Woo. Thank you, Speaker Fam. We love you. Visitanos. Espíritu de Dios. Bye through our uh, Facebook groups and families. Llena de alabanza y adoración, presencia. God bless you, church. We love you. Espíritu Santo, Espíritu Santo, oh, Santo, Espíritu Santo, oh, Espíritu Santo, me 